Wow, we guys, look at the market today. Pretty much everything is down. I'm doing some damage control in today's video, guys, because I am seeing a lot of panic and a lot of fear in the entire market. And I just want to make sure that all of you guys do not fall at the last hurdle. Before we get into it, obviously, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. But look at this, guys. We're coming towards the bottom area of this macro bull flag that we've been printing for Bitcoin, okay? Now, I'm gonna take you to the members club and we visit the market watch, guys. And this is why you have to be having a bit of foresight and having a plan ahead of schedule as well. And this was posted on the 24th of June, so it was like a couple of weeks ago. And I said to you guys, look, we're printing this bull flag. This is the bullish breakout target at around 106K. However, we still have room for 57 to 59k and look where we're at today guys we're at 57k now we actually could come a little bit lower to be touching the bottom area of this bull flag and that's going to be around like 56k and i said to the members club today there's gonna be a lot of people seeing the same thing that i'm seeing and look 57k was always on the cards and now fear is is back to all-time high levels guys but we're still respecting this macro bullish trend even though your altcoins are getting shit on today even though bitcoin is getting shit on, even though ethereum's getting shit on we're still respecting a macro bull trend could this be where we are right now are we in the bear trap before we get the renewed optimism fomo and euphoria stage of the market because it looks like we could be guys these bear traps traps suck the clues in the name it's a bear trap okay everybody was holding on to their bitcoin nobody was selling bitcoin nobody was selling their alts in every single dump everybody was like doubling down buying more myself included okay now what happens when you buy every single dump you run out of cash eventually so then when these bear traps do come later on in the market nobody can buy and people start to exit the market because they want to buy lower when really those lower prices, they may not come. They could come, but they may not come, okay? But people will start to exit the market now because they've run out of funds and they're thinking, well, if this thing goes 20% lower, I wanna be getting 20% lower. So then they sell their bag and then you're playing the juggle game. Oh, a bit of damage control, guys. I'm seeing some silly things today by big accounts. The German government are selling Bitcoin, okay? They actually, uh, they hold 2.7 billion in Bitcoin. Uh, I think it was yesterday they sold about 175 million Bitcoin. Okay, 175 million Bitcoin. Oh my God, that that's, um, that's, that's so much. And that's in dollars, by the way. Okay, so they're sending it to exchanges. That must mean that that's making the entire market crash. Then you think with your brain and you go and you check for yourself. You don't just check Twitter. You actually go and check the stats. Look at the volume for Bitcoin over the past 24 hours, guys, 38 billion, 38.52 billion in volume, 24 hour volume. Okay. So 175 million being sold out of a total of $38 billion. Guys, guys, that's less than half a percent. Okay. That is less than half a percent of the total volume for Bitcoin. 1% is 380 million. 380 million guys. Okay, 1%. Right? So while 175 million does sound a lot, while right, while 3 billion does sound was it 3 billion? There we go. 2.3 billion. While 2.3 billion does sound a lot, guys, that's like just under 1% of the daily volume for Bitcoin. Okay? So be careful. Now this one pretty basic stuff. But last dip before the pump, this was this was posted a few days ago and we're still in that dip, guys. We're still in the accumulation. We're still in the still cheap phase of the market. And remember, in the bear market, in the midst of the bear market, people didn't make money at this point of the market because they didn't buy because they were scared that it could go lower. Look, guys, we all have our targets and I try to give you guys DCA levels and we're going to get into the DCA level for ICP in a short second but you follow accounts like this i don't even know who this guy is right you could have loads of you could have loads of followers on x but i see this this is just one example i see this all over my timeline today the bottom is in 57.5k i stake my reputation on it it then went to about 56k about 15 minutes after he posted this so people will act based on people that have a lot of following people saying things like this like I'm putting my life on the fact that this is the absolute bottom when really 
there's a scenario where it is the bottom, there's a scenario where we go lower, okay? We just have to act smart at these levels, and by smart, I mean we have our, we have our allocation and we say, right, we've got this price to be buying at, this price to be buying at, this price to be buying at. It's nearly taken out all of the available liquidity on the downside and you guys should be tracking the liquidity as well but the only thing that's left is about 7 billion in short liquidation sitting at 72k the liquidity usually does get taken out of the market guys you can see there's a lot of liquidity at the all-time high and what will happen is once we do take out that liquidity all of those positions they get they get stopped out which increases the pump which is going to which is going to send us like through the roof once we do break the all-time high on the next leg up guys nobody said it's going to be easy okay we are still at the median level of this ascending channel that we've been in since the inception of bitcoin okay and to get past the median to get into the new price discovery and for the alt season and for bitcoin to be breaking new all-time highs like it's not it's not going to be easy okay so at this time the real focus is top projects what are the amount of coins that you hold in your portfolio and just taking a chill pill away from all of the fud that's going to be online but look at the entire market guys okay so while you do feel a bit victimized you feel like holy crap why is this happening to me every time i buy it dumps blah 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 it's everything in the market. Think about all those poor fuckers that bought Casper at 20 cents, right? It's now down over 10%. Okay, ICP. Let's go check out the chart. I don't want to be too happy, guys, because I know a lot of you guys are hurting today, but we hit our $7.14, guys, okay? So I said to you, look, I'm going to be taking action at $7.14. We'll buy some more ICP at $7.14. And again, this is why I keep these charts here for you guys all the time. I don't change it. Look, Worst case, everybody leaves the market. That's the full breakdown of this triangle at around $6, okay? $5.95, I think it is. That's not touching. But we had our DCA here. We've got our final DCA at $5.93. If Bitcoin does decide that it wants to consolidate and maybe it does chop around for like the next week to a few weeks, the alts can still bleed. They can just have a slow bleed down. And that could get us our $5.93 ICP, which is amazing. And there's still going to be a lot of FUD around ICP. Around every single coin that I'm going to be posting on this channel, there's going to be a lot of FUD. Okay, so you guys, I was speaking with my friends today and I asked them, right, what's your sentiment? They said, look, all the top coins that we've invested into makes us feel a lot more comfortable that it doesn't matter we're going to be recovering. Okay. So if you have conviction in your coin, now is the time to be saying, right, forget all of the outside noise. Okay. Forget all of the FUD that they're going to be printing at you on Twitter, all the misinformation, right? German government bullshit. You just double down on the coins you have conviction in. And for me, okay, not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing. For me, ICP is on that list. We hit that $7.14. I am happy because I really wanted that $7.14. If we get the $5.93, winning that's it guys listen it's gonna be okay all right it's gonna be okay i know that everybody says hold on and you're thinking how long for but if you want to be making life-changing wealth it doesn't come easy and as easy as a lot of you guys thought it was going to come so we have to be patient we have to hold on we have to say like right in the next eight months to a year we're going to be selling our bags, guys, and we're going to be so happy that we hold on in these times. We're going to be so euphoric once we reach the upper to six digit level. OK, so again, let me know how you feel in the comments. Go and go and we'll have a discussion in the comments, guys. And if you got this far, please be sure to support the channel by smashing that like button. Go and drop me a sub. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.